Hey, hey, hey. So today, I just want to show you a few tips on how to customize jackets specifically. Um, the easiest cheapest way you possibly can so patches are always a good way to customize anything so with that being said almost all of my custom jackets have patches on them so this jacket i got this jacket from a thrift store that and this jacket literally cost me i think 25 cents um Usually when I go to thrift stores and I'm looking for jackets, I look for ones that have, um, if it has a logo or something on it, it's a very small logo that can be covered up by a patch. So I really wanted, I wanted this jacket to be um, brand new. I want it to be a Basquiat jacket, obviously. So I went online to see if I could find a Basquiat patch and I could not not one that I liked at least so what I did was I went on Etsy and I found someone who makes custom patches so with that I sent them a message saying I want this crown on a patch they sent it back and it cost maybe seven dollars that's it this cost seven dollars the circle that's and so boom now i have a custom basquiat jacket and then on the back i tend to paint on the back of my jackets so this one says actually it means cool underrated but nevertheless it doesn't matter how you read it it's cool to me so i just took some paint and did it I didn't it's not extremely neat it's not extremely perfect and that's fine that's better actually because it's less stress on you and then on the sleeve I added another Basquiat touch the same old tag that he would put on things and that's it I now have a custom Basquiat jacket that cost me probably total even if you include the paint I would say $15. So basically for another jacket that I found at the thrift store, I did pretty much the same thing. Um, I bought a patch. I bought some letters to put on it. And I decided to make this one a Rebirth of Slick Diggable Planets um, jacket. So with this jacket, I literally ironed this on. I sewed on the Mickey Mouse patch um, because it wasn't really ironing on very well. And then on the back, I bought me some iron-on letters. Boom. Cool like that. That's it. I just basically ironed on stuff to make a Diggable Planets custom yellow jacket. This jacket, I think, cost me 10 cents at that thrift store. Sometimes you don't have to do much with it to make it cool. If you get a jacket that's cool kind of on its own, you don't really have to add much. So I got this jacket from ASOS probably two years ago. Um, it was on sale. I'm not a very loud person. So buying a metallic jacket was a reach. But I made this one my own because it's already pretty loud on its own. I didn't really want to add anything to it that might make it a little too much, if you will. So, I got this patch. It's an ODB Killer Bees. You know, it's talking about Burst Bees, basically. Um, but it's an ODB patch from, I believe, the Lil Bull Bullies Club. I'll put all, all that stuff underneath it. But I just added a patch. That's it. That's all I did. I added that patch. There's nothing on the back. And that's it. Now I have the the metallic jacket from ASOS is now a custom metallic jacket, ODB style. Um, and that, it was as simple as that. 
And some this jacket similarly. I made this one a dipset jacket. I got this from dipsetusa.com, like from their actual website. So it was like ten dollars. Um I went to a Cameron show and I really wanted to show out for dipset. <laughs> So, I put this patch on there. This was a jacket I had already um, distressed. I had already painted on. I just didn't want to buy a new jacket just for this patch. And so, I had already painted Be Humble on the back. You know, like Kendrick Lamar, Be Humble. Um, so, I just painted some words on it. And that was, that was how it was customized before. And then, eventually, I just added this patch and called it a day so I, I i distressed it which plenty of videos on distressing denim um this was another thrift store jacket um it's a levi's jacket i think i'm confident i got it from the goodwill outlet so i probably paid 50 cents for it one of the first jackets that i ever customized was a all forever 21 bomber jacket that i had that I just really got tired of it being so plain. And so I decided to make this a uh, Bonita Apple Bomb by a Tribe Called Quest jacket. So on the back, I painted, you gotta put me on. Um, I was never really satisfied with how the paint looked on this. I probably could have gone over it a few times, but nevertheless, it's effective. Um, I think it's just because of the material that I put it on this felty material. But I painted You Gotta Put Me On based on the album art. And then from Lil Bully's Club again, I found a Bonita Apple Bomb patch. So you see that it's not, it's a whole booty apple. How can you not love booty apples? Like this is, this is a whole apple bottom for real. Like, so it's Bonita Apple Bomb, obviously, for I just just to make it plain so i'll put that patch on there and then eventually i got another pen and i can't remember off the top of my head where i got this from i'll put it in the description if and when i remember but i ended up getting a, a pen a tribe called quest pen so it went perfect with it so now i have a whole jacket dedicated to a tribe called quest and i'm confident it cost me maybe twenty dollars to customize it all together because of the pin and the patch my last jacket that is my favorite custom jacket is is such my favorite that i recreated it when the last jacket i put it on started to deteriorate deteriorate a little too much so um this jacket is my keith herring jacket this is the back of it um so this design is almost an exact replica of a Keith Haring design that I just really love. It was for his ACT UP campaign um, against the AIDS epidemic. Um, so that's why I have this on the sleeve. And so with this jacket, literally, I can't draw. I, I can't draw. I'm not artistic in that way, but... I can mimic some stuff. So with Keith Haring, his style of art, it's kind of easy to mimic because the lines aren't too detailed and it doesn't require shading or any of those artistic techniques. You can really just practice kind of freehanding it and you can probably get it down. I mean, but Keith Haring is also one of my top three favorite artists. So it, it helps, you know? And so, Basically, I found this design and I just painted it on the back of this jacket. I just painted it on here. And on the last jacket that I painted it on, it started to wear and tear on the collar. And so I added, this was a piece of a t-shirt that I didn't want anymore. Um, on that jacket, I added it to cover up the fact that it was wearing and tearing on the collar and falling apart. And so when I duplicated this design on this jacket, a new jacket, I liked that part. And so I just put that part on this jacket too. Um, this is actually from, uh, I think from a Stussy shirt. Like, get ready, rock steady. 
I mean, it has nothing to do with the Keith Haring thing, not really. But you can't read it anyway. It's just for aesthetics. Um, but that's all I did. I, I found a design I liked that was simple enough. And I painted it on here. I just took my time and painted it. And the good thing about um, pleather, leather, whatever it is, um, is that you can pretty much correct your mistakes immediately. Um, as soon as you put the paint on, if you mess up, you can wipe it off with alcohol and it will be fine. So that's why I really like painting stuff, trying things out on leather, pleather type materials because it allows for mistakes. So, if you're interested in seeing maybe a more in-depth video about this jacket, I can definitely do that. Just comment and let me know. And for the front, because it has so much so much hardware on, I didn't really add anything. But I did put a pin here. Black women over breathing. Shout out to Adrian. Um, just a pin to add a personal touch to the front. And that's pretty much it. So, I guess my main takeaways are just buy patches and pins when you see them. I know pins are popular to put on hats, to put on denim jackets and such. And you'll just put a lot of pins there and just whatever, put on your backpack to make it your own. But think about themes. It's nice to think about them thematically and putting things together based on themes. So the patches that I bought and the pins that I bought ultimately went together thematically to make a whole design for a jacket. So when you see things like that, I pick up patches, whether I have something to put them on at the moment or not, I, I buy them anyway, because eventually I'm going to buy something that I'm going to want to customize. I pick up pins all the time. This is from God Hates Robots. Um, I pick up pins all the time that I can basically transfer to different items that may be blank and I want to make my own. So patches and pins are a really good way to go when you want to customize your clothing, your accessories, or whatever it might be. So if you want to see any more details about how I do these things, let me know. But other than that, like, subscribe, share, and have a good day.